market job. China has been doing something really interesting in this very crowded city. Bound by the vigours of its waters, Bangladesh has long been bisected by the Padma River. Recently, a triumph of engineering and international cooperation has been achieved, as a bridge now straddles the mighty Padma River. I am here in Bangladesh to ride the train across the bridge and see for myself how this will change the lives of everyone in Bangladesh. This is the story of the Road of Dreams. Today I'm in one of the most densely populated countries in the whole world. It has a population density of over 10 times that of China, but it's only the size of Jiangsu. Bangladesh has an abundance of water, with around 24,000 kilometers of river flowing through its fertile land. From June to October, the monsoon season brings heavy rain to the country, with 80% of the annual rainfall during this period. In addition to this, the Padma River, a vast, deep and swift current, carves the nation in two, separating the capital, Dhaka in the northeast, from the more impoverished southwest of the country. The only way to cross the river has been by ferries and smaller boats, but due to the strong current, there are many fatalities each year. In 2018, China Railway secured the contract for the Padma Bridge Rail Link project. We are on... We are on the Chinese train right now and we're going straight over the bridge. So cool. I've never been on a train outside before. Passing through the lush green landscape, we approached the bridge where the train would stop and we would get inside the carriage to ride the train over the bridge. On the way over the Padma Bridge. The sun is setting, the water is so still, there's little boats out in the water. It's absolutely beautiful. Let me show you around this train. In behind me is the kitchen and we'll move forward from here. The seats, they're like brown leather seats. Ooh, very comfortable. On board, there were many workers and engineers who I was able to talk to to gain a greater understanding of the whole project. I learned that this is actually the deepest bridge in the whole world, with supports installed up to 127 meters deep. Here is a corridor of the little cabins that you can book, so you can maybe lie down if you're on a night train or whatever, a little bit more comfortable. So we've got four beds, one, two, three, four, fans, chargers. I learned that not only did China build the bridge, they're constructing a line from the capital to another city in the southwest of Bangladesh. How long is the whole railway? Uh, the whole line, mm -hmm. uh, totals 170 kilometers. Okay, long. so it's far. This is the first time in Bangladesh they are going to run the train at 120. <laughs> yes. I talked to the operator, mm -hmm. the train operator. Man was a uh, old, he's mm -hmm. about to retire. Mm -hmm. So he was crying. He said, I've been working with the rail for 40 years. Wow. First time I ran the train at 120 kilometers yes. per hour. Yeah. I'm so excited. So, I'm very proud. Yes, <laughs> I'm sure he is. He will always remember I'm that. also moved by him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I wasn't sure what Bangladesh would be like, but this is absolutely beautiful. What a magical place. I know this project was with CREC. What's, um, what was your feelings working with CREC? They have the experience yes. uh, to imp implement such a mega project. Right. They work hard mm -hmm. in this project because the environment of the, uh, the China and Bangladesh is not similar. Yes, uh, the, here the temperature is very high yeah. and there are also the heavy rainfall in right. the rainy season in the, yeah. at night also. Right. So uh, any they, weather conditions yes, always working? Yes, all the weather conditions. And this is the first train in Bangladesh to have CCTV on the train. So really good for public safety. By building this infrastructure, yeah. 
from the roadside, we are saving four to five hours yes. for traffic. Yeah. From the railway side, we are saving eight hours. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it is. Uh, it's, it's a real difference that the local people will notice. Yeah, and hopefully it will bring the whole, the people, the economy, everything yeah. up. And you, you didn't say the first time we passed the train through the yes. bridge. Yes. The, all the villagers, yes. they came out. They, come they out were, to they watch were it. celebrating. Yes. They were so happy. Wow. <laughs> they, was, they were so happy to see the yeah. uh, mega project complete yes. and uh, the traffic become convenient yes. for them. You know, the Bangladeshis have called this their dream bridge. You can really feel how much this means to the Bangladeshi people. When we go through these little towns and just past you know, the side of the road, everyone is stopping what they're doing and watching the train go past. They're waving. I bet they're really excited to get on and try the train and be able to go down to the capital Dhaka in, you know, no time at all. So yeah, I'm really glad for them. What a good job. You know, the railway is the safe, mm -hmm. uh, cheap, mm -hmm. and environmental friendly and comfortable and journey. Efficient, always yes, on also, time. Yes, efficient. Yeah. There is no traffic jam yes. in the relay. Right. And obviously, uh, the people of uh, this country will be benefited. So we are very proud yeah, that uh, we can complete such an important project yes. here in Bangladesh. Right. And we have arrived in Banga. The section that I was riding the train on, from Mawa to Banga, oh. which went over the Padma Bridge, will be open to the public at the start of October. But the full train line will be open in April next year, 2024. And in Bangladesh tonight, we're going to have some Chinese buffet. It's been a busy day of traveling. So happy to sit down and have some good Chinese food. Let's give it a go. A bit of pork. Mmm. It tastes exactly like China. They just said that they brought a chef over from China who, who cooks the food. So that's why it tastes so authentic. Great. As the locals observe the train rumbling over the magnificent Padma railway line, a picture is painted of connectivity and progress which weaves into the stunning landscape here. This monumental feat of engineering will truly transform the lives of the people living here. It will bring more investors and more business opportunities which will create a ripple effect and it will help everyone that lives here in this region. But actually, beyond tangible benefits, I find something much more profound, the power of unity and togetherness. When countries work together, they can achieve much more than when they're on their own. And may the Padma Bridge Real Link project serve as a reminder that through unity and determination, the dreams of a connected and prosperous future can indeed become a reality.